Welcome to our learning to cook pizza journey and I'm using the coder today so let's go and make the pizza. Ready for the coda. Made my pizza and the stone is really hot. It's been on for about 20 minutes and it's definitely the outside temperature does affect the stone. I am gonna cook on 460. Um, I know it's a bit high. Just maybe maybe I'll just leave it a second <laughs> actually, because that is quite high. I think I have burnt a many um, a base on a 460 gone down to yeah it's coming down really quick that's a good thing about this oven it um went up quickly 20 minutes and it's gone to four it was 470 when i just tested it i've turned it down to half immediately the middle of the stone has now gone down to 435 which is great because that means that that's coming down too fast actually let's put it in let's get this in I've already turned the oven down so I don't have to do that and I've actually got my peel as well which is good and I don't know if you saw the last video I um, put a little snippet of what my family did to this oven and I've actually they kindly cleaned it all up for me and the table and everything but the stone I have a story about what happened to that stone um, So what happened was um, they had to clean the stone because uh, they kind of like ruined it with debris, pizza debris. And I should have not let them clean it because I didn't realize what they were going to do. What they actually did was they got a hose pipe, some liquid detergent and wire wool and I saw them outside scrubbing the stone with a hose pipe and all of those things to get all the debris off. Now, that's cooked.
Let's give this piece a try. Oh wow. Ooh. That's got a very suitable kick. Goes very well with the Thai chicken topping. With all that lovely, delicious, goodness, badness in there. All those cheeses mixed together, melted together. Yeah, the base doesn't seem to have, it's still got a rim, but as expected, that probably hit the top of the oven first. It had to be about 480 up there. But it hasn't gone black, it's got, you know, it's, it's much improved with less flour. Give that piece a try. Mm. That cheddar cheese with the chili in it, it really has melted in beautifully with the Thai chicken. So tasty, so hot, but it was very hot when I had it on its own. I ate a piece on its own to give it a try. It was really hot. But on here, because it's melted into the, the mozzarella and it's in the dough and all the chicken pieces, it's, it's just perfectly blended in. It's melted in amongst all the flavors and it's truly delicious. This is a really lovely pizza. It's a nice chicken pizza. It's a really nice hot. It's not too hot. It's like medium hot chicken pizza. Really tasty. And that that was the bit that was at the front of the oven. You can see the difference between the stone temperatures when you put it in. Also, I will finish off the story if you're still with me at this point. So they why I wheeled it down with liquid detergent and what happened was for about three days afterwards the stone was bubbling so the lesson to be learned is if you do want to clean your pizza stone uh, or if your family members desire to to help out either turn the stone over scrape off all the the debris just brush as much as you can off and especially do not put liquid detergent or wire wool on it with a hose pipe. Yeah. <laughs> do they not watch my videos? That's what this is all about. Anyway, this is very nice. Very, 